Okay, my friends, we are back. I'm sorry about the noise from the fish tank, but I can't, I can't do anything about that. The fish need, they need a uh, aeration and the uh, little bubble ball is pretty loud. But yeah, I'm gonna just wait for y'all to trickle back in. I apologize for the, um, you know, previous broadcast, but I figured we just start fresh before I start talking about anything, you know? And uh, that way we can, we can um, have a nice smooth haul. Hi, Dr. Randy, how are you today? Really quick because, um, Dania, hello. Demi, hi. All right, real quick. I got six of these. <laughs> I got six of these, okay? Because I need to stock up. I always stock up. Um, hi, Portia. Hi, Sensoray. Yep, we bake. And what else did I get that was kind of like boring? I think that's it that's boring. Everything else is kind of fun. Hi, Violet. So yeah, I got six packs of the Hi Sylvia and B4 Gladdy. <laughs> oh, thank you. That is so great to hear. I'm glad to hear it. In my excitement talking about the recommendations, I forgot to mention that the, the palette is now on Sephora, the Ambient Lighting 3. But yeah, so six packs of cleansing cloths because I need them on deck for like cleaning my table, for wiping off swatches, things like that. Ooh, let me smell this. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. That smelled so funny at first. This is Myth from Ellis Brooklyn or Elise Brooklyn. Hi, Lynette. Good evening. Sylvia, hello. Welcome, everybody. So, yes, let's jump right in. Um, as I mentioned in the previous one, um, I placed in-store orders at the Boston Sephora location. So that would be the Prudential Center and Faneuil Hall. Um, while I was there, I decided to check out the fragrances because I wanted to, I didn't want to blind buy fragrances with the exception of the Jill Malone <laughs> special edition packaging. So went in there and I grabbed a few fragrances. I am though going to start off with foundation because I have it sitting here. It's right in my face. So I'm going to start off with that. And guess what your girl re-upped on? I'll give you guys one guess. It's my favorite. <laughs> I ended up getting... Hi, Monique. I ended up getting number five, uh, but I ordered it on um, online. So I have an online order coming next week, All right, a couple of them. So I'm gonna let those accumulate, and then um, and then I'll do like a a shipment haul or shipping haul of um, Sephora items that you can't purchase in store or that weren't available in store in my locations. So yeah, um, my sis got it right new well a new bottle of the la mer um soft fluid foundation and i decided to try to shade chestnut i still have sienna so if i don't like it i'll just return this one no big deal <laughs> nice nice um i haven't used the uh the genius mobility but i did use the alpha brain um, over the past couple of days, I'm already starting to feel more alert, although I may need to dial it back considering I haven't been asleep since yesterday morning. So careful. <laughs> Be very careful. I don't feel like wired or anything. I just, I think maybe from the excitement of the sale, I just didn't want to sleep because I didn't want to miss out on anything. Hi, Kay. I'm glad to see y'all. I'm, I'm glad to be here, you know? It's nice to do a live. <laughs> so rarely get to do them these days. So it's nice to do one. Um, yeah, nice, fresh, 
Uh, oh my God, this is really bright. I'm going to turn this down so you guys can see things. That's not going to work at all. That's better. Okay, so there we are. And it is a nice one. The S, the um, Double Wear Sheer. It is beautiful. And I think I've been like really about it because I didn't like the regular Double Wear. <laughs> That's why I'm like, this one is the ish. Yeah, I'm very, oh, goodness. I'm very happy to have another bottle of this. It's been a little while. This is nice. I like this color. Where's my, where's my other one? I don't want to have to get up. But I'm thinking the other one's just a little more golden. Oh, man, I appreciate that. Sis, when I added up everything, I have lost my entire African American mind. <laughs> I said, "Woo!" I was catching up. That's what I was doing. I was catching up. But yeah, okay. So that's the first one. And then, as I had mentioned in the recommendations video, I got the wrong shade um, of the one size foundation uh, through Octoly. That's the BBB balm foundation so I ended up getting it in the right shade which is dark three instead of deep three yeah she cute she is very cute very sleek sexy pretty and I, I really kind of rushed over this I expedited everything ain't I ridiculous and I placed like six orders because I kept either Either something was was like on my list to pick up and then it was sold out. So I had to um, ship it like that happened a lot. And uh, hey, Chai. And there were a couple of things that like I doubled back after I either like saw them in store, but they didn't have my color or something like that. So you know how it is. It happens every year. You go all right, that's my order. That's it. And then things start to pop up or they come back in stock and whatever. And before you know it, you've placed about 15 orders and they've only had like two things in them. <laughs> yes. I love it so much. Yeah. It's just like a filter, man. I can't even like, even with the wrong shade, I was like, I need to get the right shade in this. Cause this is, this is good. And I felt that way about all his products that I tried so far. I did not try the eyeshadows. They didn't appeal to me. But the wipes, when he came out with the wipes and the spray, um, love that. That was awesome. Um, love how big the wipes are. Like, he's been doing makeup for a really long time. And he does a lot of heavy makeup. So I think that his approach to his line is great for, like, the average makeup user. Because it's going to work even better. <laughs> nah, girl. I just, you know, it all came at once. You know, it's tax season. <laughs> I did get two blushes already. Yeah, I got two blushes from um, the new ones that came out today. And um, those are coming in the mail. They weren't available in the store. But yeah, this is bomb. And I love the way it opens. Isn't that cute? Onto the side. You, you, you would think when you see it like this that you got to go twist it off. But, you know, unique packaging. We like that. Um, I did grab the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I know you guys have already seen this a bunch of times, but I am still going to review it. Because <laughs> you didn't see it from me. Oh. That'll be me in probably like a year or two. I'll be owing as well. Um, this looks like a good shade. I'm 14 neutral in the original, um, like the matte version. Um, so I ended up getting the same color. I did notice that for some people it wasn't exactly the same. So we'll see. I'll do like a comparison in the video. But so far as I'm looking at it, it it's very close to the La Mer. So I feel like it's going to be a good match. And I got to tell you guys a little story about Rose Inc. You know how I love to call a brand out. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do that right now. So... Um, Rose Inc. approved me for um, testing out this product, this and the brush, right? They approved me two months ago. I ain't seen that. I, I ain't seen it yet. I ain't seen it yet. 
don't. And I've contacted them numerous times about it. Like while I was in California and everything, I said, okay, if you end up shipping it right now, I'll go ahead and, you know, here's my address where I am right now. And then when I was on my way home, I was like, you know, hey, um, I'm heading back to Massachusetts. Here's my address there. And they told me, you know, hey, I'm sorry, it's really backed up. Um, we apologize. But here's the thing for those of you who don't have Octoly. Octoly allows a certain number of requests at a time. So as products come in and you're pitching to promote them, um, if somebody holding you up for two months, that's one of your requests that you can't use. And so at this point, I had to contact Octoly <laughs> because they, they also approved me for the new lipstick and that came like that. So I was thinking to myself, oh, I got approved for the lipstick really fast. Maybe they'll just send them together. No, no, they didn't do that. So I just bought it myself because I wanted to try it. I have the water fresh tint and I want to compare the two. So I said, you know what? Let me get the brush. Let me get the, the uh, serum. Like, let me just do it. So I got shade. Oh, it should be on top. 120. I got shade 120. Th this, John, this looks very deep in person. But from the pictures, it was giving shade match. bust them beads and let's have a look at what it's giving I'm just gonna put it all over my hand here and just like the water fresh tint it's very watery you've got the little beads the pigment beads in there same idea I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's like um, maybe they're just having like shipping delays or something like that. I ordered both, uh, Dr. Randy. I have, I have both here. I haven't tried anything because I, I woke up at, well, woke up. I decided to get up because I did not sleep. <laughs> I decided to get up at, um, like about seven o'clock this morning and get ready to come. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Isn't that something? Look at that. How deceptive is this packaging? I would not look at this in the store and think to grab this one. I would have grabbed something maybe two shades lighter and it would have been too light and made me look ashy. Oh. But I like it. It looks very similar. Okay, you, you purchased 16 neutral in the... Okay, okay. Yeah, that's one of the new shades, I think. And I purchased a new shade as well. Because I, you know, a new shade compared to the, um, compared to the Vision Cream cover. That's, that's fascinating. Because <laughs> that looks really good on my hand. Okay. So next is the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. This is my first foundation from Kosas. The, the oils... And they just weren't giving it to me. They weren't giving me what I needed. And so I just, I've never even bothered purchasing. But this one, I saw so many great reviews about. And yeah, this looks like a really good shade for me. It is Deep Neutral 380. Looks good. If I'm, if I'm comparing it to the other things sitting here. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that works. Awesome. Look at me, that in a thousand. We, we love to see it. I don't always get it right, so I'm very excited. All right, and speaking of the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin, I ended up getting number 21 Neutral. 21 Neutral was the comparable one to my shade Envision Cream cover. So let's see. This is giving, actually no, now that I'm seeing it in the light, more, no? No, it's, it's the most cool toned thing sitting here. Let me see. Nope. This is really cool toned. Or like super neutral. Let me, let me see. Let me put it on a fresh hand. The other hand has the thing on it. Oh yeah, this is too deep. I feel like that's too deep. As I keep going, that is going to be too deep. Hi, Blue. See? Spoke too soon.
Ooh, wow, that's cool. That is great. You guys see that? Yeah, I think I'm gonna exchange this one. I'm gonna try. Oh, really? Okay. So you think I should try 22? Because I think you and I are shade twins, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I should do 22. I have to go back to Boston anyway. So I was actually going to stop in Nordstrom tomorrow to see if I can get some Chanel. Because they didn't have any at sex. Not what I wanted anyway. All right, next up is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Matte. I'm going to actually compare this to my glow and make sure I got the right shade. Okay, so you're saying I would like 18 golden or 19 golden. I'm going to go with the deeper of the two. just Because it's only, I feel like it's only off by a hair in terms of tone and undertone. I think it's a little too neutral for me. I need some some warmth so i'm thinking yeah okay so looking at these two i think i did a good job i mean this is a frost okay here we go this is a frosted bottle so i feel like these are these are comparable it's pretty good let's have a look oh yeah that's beautiful perfect I don't even need to, I don't even need to blend that in. That's, that is perfect. Hi, Tanya, the foundation lady. We're reviewing foundations or looking at the foundations I picked up. Yeah, this is good. I like that one. Once I get that on my face, I'll be happy with that. And Givenchy to me runs kind of warm. So I'm all right with, um, with it being a little warm. I know how to work around it. So it's fine. And the other one looks good on me. So it should be all right. Hi, Cherise. <laughs> that's right. I know that's right. All right, y'all. So, so far, just to recap for anybody who's coming in, because I see that we've had an influx in people joining us. So thank you very much for that. And um, so far, I picked up the Givenchy matte version of the Prism Libre Skin Carrying Foundation, the Rose Ink Serum um, or Skin Enhancing Luminous Tinted Serum. Picked this one up in uh, 120 and I picked the Givenchy up in probably the same shade, 6W430. I picked up the uh, Beautiful Skin from Charlotte Tilbury in 14 N. I picked up the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation in Deep Neutral 380. I picked up Deep 3 in the One Size Triple B Balm. I saw your review and um, it, looked, it looked fantastic on you. And then I picked up another shade in La Mer. I picked up Chestnut to try out. I've been wearing Sienna. Sienna works fine. I just want to try something different just in case, you know, summertime shade. We'll see. Next. Wow. Okay. Just came from there. Well, check you out. How do you get that kind of deal? Okay. I got the NARS foundation, y'all in uh, New Caledonia, just like all my other NARS foundations. So I'm pretty sure this will, with the exception of the tinted moisturizer, the tinted moisturizer, they had a whole different range. So, but yeah, this, this is definitely me. It looks just like the natural radiant in New Caledonia. So, I mean, I've had this one a little longer, so it might look a little oxidized, but yeah, looks good. And then... Makeup Forever is the last foundation I picked up. Yeah, yeah, it is. Everyone that I've seen use it. And then for Makeup Forever, I have a hard time guessing my shade in Makeup Forever, I will tell y'all that. But I just did my best. I got four in 68 and it looks good. It, it looks good. I think it should be okay. 
to use this hand since I just wiped it off. And if not, I'll just, you know, I already got to exchange one. So yeah, that's, that's fabulous. I mean, anytime I see that kind of, you know, cause I am very golden in my chest. So I'm good with this. This is fine. It's very pretty already. I can tell it's going to be very like hydrating. I love, it's got the makeup forever. Come on, come on. It's got the logo on it. Can y'all see that? The Makeup Forever logo with the lip. I know. I only have like three concealers. <laughs> but that's like literally my my um, whole setup here. I have probably like a hundred foundations and only like 30 concealers. Because the concealers I like, I really like. So we're looking at two, four, six eight. I didn't do 10. Oh, wait, nine. No, no, I had this one already. Thank God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so eight. I only got eight. <laughs> and which one are we taking back to exchange again? Oh, the, um, I, I put it back in the box, so I did get nine, y'all. Um, we're going to take this back for a better shape. No problem. All right. So that's foundations, and I need to just kind of dump. I'm just going to dump stuff on the as we open it up, okay? And so, um, yeah, get this one out the way. Get this one out the way, child. Okay. The Ilya. Why do I feel like? I already have the Ilya, Ilya I think. And then I, did I pick up the Ilya concealer? I believe I did. That's your jam, dark one. Yeah. I have a feeling that dark three, because I felt like the undertone and like the way it looked in deep still worked. It just was obviously not my shade. So I, that's why I went with like the same number. I'm hoping that that's going to work, work out for me. Re actually rare beauties in the mail. So it is going to be 10. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, my gosh. Glad to hear it. That's my jam right now. Like, feeling like I'm not really wearing makeup. Forgetting I'm wearing makeup. As a matter of fact, yesterday, when I had on the Chantecai face, I was cooking. No, I didn't get... Oh, Patrick. Ta. Yes. Yes, I did. I got the, the palette and the liners. They looked really pretty. That burgundy, I don't have a burgundy liner, so I was like, let me let me get that. Um, yeah. So I just lost my train of thought. You guys help me find it, please. Um, we're gonna move into uh, fragrances just because that's what's sitting on top in this bag. As I showed y'all in the beginning, here's what we got going on. <laughs> there is a gigantic thing in here, though. <laughs> The t uh, and I like the Rare Beauty Foundation, the one that they came out with initially. So I feel like the tinted one is gonna, the tinted uh, moisturizer is gonna be really gorgeous. All right, y'all. So let's start with a, with a banger, okay? Yes, thank you so much, Cherise. So yeah, I was cooking and the grease popped me in the face, and my immediate reaction was to wipe it off because I didn't want a scar, and I wiped and still looked like I had makeup on. <laughs> yeah, the orange was so cute. I ended up getting the more like reddish one that has an orange in it. And I ended up picking up whatever was left that would work for me. I think it was kind of like a, almost like a mauve blush tone. Yeah, I remember those, the pigment neutralizer. <laughs> Yeah, I smelled so many different fragrances and it was getting kind of hard to distinguish. So I probably didn't give a fair chance to everything, I will say that. But the things that really stuck out to me that I could actually smell and like are the ones that I picked up this go round. I do plan towards the end of the sale to double back and get some more fragrances because I've had kind of the same fragrances for a while. Um, and I just wanted to, you know, really kind of beef up my fragrance collection. But yeah, this smelled amazing. I just got the, did I get the, yeah, the, the one fluid ounce. 
because I know I'm going to have a big old collection by the time everything is said and done. Pam, speaking of, speaking of fragrance. Oh, let me see. You know what? I'll just open it right now. Well, I'm a fan of the original Alien because I really like how like, you know, kind of sweet and sexy I felt like it smelled. And so the Alien Goddess to me sounds like, it smells like a more grown up version of it. And it has like a little extra, extra like floral to it. Gosh, so pretty. Love this ball. So cute. Okay. Yeah, it's got like this vanilla. It has vanilla. A little bit of floral. Mm. Let me let that mellow out before I tell you what it smells like. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it is. I would agree. Alien is, to me, a very evening specific fragrance. This smells very warm and inviting. And then, and like, as I smell that vanilla, then right underneath it comes the floral. It's beautiful. And the floral marries really nicely with the vanilla. I can understand. Now I'm getting a little bit of like, not soapiness. Maybe that's like powder. Oh, yeah, this is definitely alluring. It's alluring in a daytime way. I really like this. I'm, I'm probably, if I, if I run out of this, I will repurchase the full size. I'll just skip right over to 1.7. This is beautiful and very unique to my collection. I don't have anything that smells like this. This is gorgeous. So there's Alien Goddess. And then in a whole other direction, <laughs> I picked up a heretic fragrance called Bergamusk. <laughs> and this is their newest set, scent. Oh gosh. Their small packaging is a little more luxe, I, I must say. Comes in, a, in its own little like nest. <laughs> but here it is. They're very uh, clean and simple brand that I have. Um, well, I ran out of Florgasm. <laughs> what? Why? Why are you a teensy bit jealous? Is this about the fragrance specifically? Yeah, those are those are my jam too. Those are kind of like, I still smell that. Oh, <laughs> excuse me a second. Mmm, mmm. That is nice. Now it's kind of living in the floral powder section. I like that. I really like that. So um, burger musk, I'm, I'm smelling the wrong thing. I can smell the musk. That's what it is. They both have that. Okay. Yeah, this is a clean musk. What I really like about the heretic line is that everything's a little bit kind of grassy almost. Like it has like this grassy freshness right underneath everything else. Like Dirty Mang, all the ones that have the name Dirty in them have that kind of grassiness to them, but it's in a way that kind of neutralizes the scent and makes it unisex, if that makes sense. And that's something what I really love um, about what I really love about these fragrances is that I can share them with my husband. And they smell different on us because of our body chemistry, but they, they work. This burger musk, I think he's going to like this one a lot. If you like bergamot and you like musk, it, 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 you'll like this. It's as simple as that. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm glad I, they didn't have a small one. Otherwise, I would have got a small one. But I said, you know what? I want it. So let's go. Hi, Lizette. Welcome. <laughs> okay so i got two from elise brooklyn based on what i could smell in store because some stuff 
I know it was mixing with other fragrances because everybody was in the fragrance section, just spritzing and sniffing. And it was just, you know, including my daughter <laughs> who kept coming up to me going, smell me, mommy, smell me. So I was having a hard time, but the things that really stood out to me were these two in particular. And so we have, this one is sweet. Really nice. And this is what the packaging looks like. You did. Okay. You liked bee because I could, I smelled bee and I smelled just honey. Like that's all I smelled. And I'm like, that's not very complex. <laughs> oh, thanks, Chai. Hey, Chris. Yes, girl. We are having a grand old time on your favorite topic, fragrance. Oh, uh, yeah. I love these bottles. They're so millennial. <laughs> so here's what she looks like. Here's what Sweet looks like. There's the logo on the top of the cap there. Very pretty. A frosted yellow. And, I mean, it is what it is, you know? It is a sweet fragrance, but it's not... You know what I, I smelled in store? It smelled like, I'm trying to remember if it's this one or if it's the um, sun fruit that I picked up. Mm -hmm. It's this one. It smells like Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> and as, as sophisticated as you can make that. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. It, it, it just created a sense memory for me. I did pick up another travel size of salt because... Um, I just forgot while I was at the store to get a full size. And then when I went to do my exchange, they only had the travel size, but, oh, that smells so good. It literally smells just like Sour Patch Kids. I love this so much. Oh, I want to try that new, uh, black owned fragrance. Um, he has a discovery set. I think I want to try his, I think his name is Christopher or something. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Mm. Mm. Oh, I, I'm going to wear this tomorrow. This smells so good. I love this. And I love how it's a distinct sweet and it's not just you inundating you with a bunch of sweet smelling stuff. It smells exactly like what Sour Patch Kids taste like. This smells so good. And the closure is magnetic. Thank you, Pam. It is Christopher Collins. Thank you, um, B4 Glad Gladdy. Sorry. Um, yeah. This is fabulous. You guys, if what I'm saying to you creates a, a pleasant sense memory for you, smell this. Smell this in store. <laughs> I love her. And so the other one I picked up is Sunfruit. I did smell Golden Nectar. I smelled it while I was in the store. I'm thinking of going back to get it, but I was concerned that it smelled like something else I bought or something else I had already picked out. So I wanted to just revisit it because like I said, I was just getting so overwhelmed. Salt smells like, oh, sorry, um, Glam Life. Salt smells like the beach. If you like beachy fragrances, you'll love it. It smells like salty beach air smells gorgeous at least to me because I love beachy fragrances yes indeed I I uh when they you know are during February they were highlighting the black brands that's when I discovered him and so I put his stuff in my um, loves list for the sale so I'm gonna get his discovery kit first I don't care if the sale's over or not it once I figure out what I want I'll just get it Mm. This one smells like starfruit to me. And I, I'm wondering if that's what they meant by sunfruit. Mm. 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 This smells so lovely. <laughs> if you've ever smelled starfruit, you guys, that's what this smells like to me. Gorgeous. And again, magnetic closure there. So I'm really happy with those. Like I said, I picked up a roller ball of salt. Um, Cause I actually ran out while I was on vacation in Cali. <laughs> Go figure. 
love that. So I'm just, I mean, I'm glossing over it because I already know I love it and I already know what it smells like. Um, let me make sure that that's it for fragrance before we move on. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Yeah. So let me just run real quick through Gucci. I did pick up quite a few things from Gucci. Um, but they're small things. So I restocked on my girls. The powder brow pencils. I got one of each color I enjoy. And um, so that would be Chitane and Brun. And then I picked up Noir. So that's what we have here. Next from Gucci. I have what's the other one. I also picked up um, uh, my mom's first of the uh, matte lipsticks. She really loves um, Tony Purple, so I ended up picking her up, picking up one for her to have. Um, I was letting her use mine, but I got her her own one, nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. um, I smelled Myth as well. And that's what I have on my little scent card here. <laughs> this smells amazing. When I first sprayed it, I said, you know, <laughs> and then as I'm, as I'm going to the register, I'm still sniffing it. And I'm like, okay, all right. By the time she checked me out, <laughs> I almost turned around and went back for it. I <laughs> almost said, I need this. I need this. I need to turn. And I kept saying, like, I literally walked to the front of the store twice, <laughs> talking myself out of it. <laughs> I'm like, girl, if you don't, this smells so cute. You know what it smells like? This smells like a 90s fragrance. Very like mysterious, a little bit like beachy, a little bit, a little fresh with just a little bit of fruit. Just a little. This is so nice. Oh, and the kits. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, this myth. I gotta, I gotta go back and get it. So, ran into something new, y'all. I don't know if you've seen these, but these are the uh, liquid matte lip colors with uh, that are transfer proof yet comfortable. She was, uh, the, the rep was telling me what's in here. And let me see if it's, if it's written on the back. Okay. I'm not going to be, you know what? I'm not going to get into all of that. I will talk about these when I do my proper haul. I'm doing this impromptu one just to kind of go over things with you guys, but I am going to do a more professionalized one with, you know, makeup and, and good lighting and all that good stuff. Um, I don't know that I smelled anything from Calvin Klein that smells like this, but it does give me like mid nineties. These are cute. Um, I picked up the two that I liked out of the maybe six that they had. Um, and the shades I picked up are Lizzie Tiger number 311 and Janet Rust number 505. And from what I remember, Janet Rust is an existing shade. I don't know about Lizzie Tiger, but here's Janet Rust. I'm just going to get my, um... oh, hi, Patrice. <laughs> I'm glad to see you too, girl. What's up? Yeah, these are cute. I saw them on Saks originally. Um, when I was placing a quick order over there for those Hermes uh, lip oils. But um, I wanted to swatch them. So I said, let me wait. Let's see what they're doing. Yeah, I like that. Kind of like a, it's like a warm red, like a rusty. I mean, hello. That's what they said it was, girl. Yeah, it feels like a cloud. There's an, an ingredient in here that is very expensive. It's like, what do they call it? Like black rose or something like that. I can't remember you guys, but I will fill you in later on when I actually properly talk about them. But that is pretty. 
Now I don't have to buy it in the lipstick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that the yellow one? Is that the one that's yellow? Because that's I put that on my list to purchase as well. That's pretty. I like that. And it wasn't hard to take off. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clementine, yeah. It's definitely Clementine's more orange. All right, let me let my lips dry and then I'll put on the other one for you. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's the one. That's the one I want as well. That's all those kiwi notes. And I'm like, that smells tropical. And I want to try it. Tropical citrus. And this one, pal. Can we get into that? Look at that color. Yeah, this is nice. That was 311. Yeah, Lizzie Tiger. This is bomb. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's giving like a more pinkish red. Almost strawberry. It's cute. And it looks like it layers well. I like that. When I tell you this is just a veil on the lips. Very, very, very nice formula. It's got a lot of moisturizing properties in it, but not. Um, but it still has staying power. So I think this is going to be the new wave of um, liquid lipstick, y'all. They're going to be giving us some um, comfortable matte liquid lippies. This is nice. Yeah. I figured that one would sting a little bit. And I'm just going to leave my lips bare because I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> brunch. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So um, something that I'm just going to, you know, pass through. I'm not even going to swatch this, y'all. This is the uh, lip blush from Tom Ford. And I've always wanted it. So I decided to get a little discount on it. It's this girl right here. I don't know. Yeah. This, um... The colors were very, like, wearable, everyday colors from the Gucci line, by the way. So this is just, I think it adjusts to your pH. Cute. It's got the gold flex in it. I just always wanted it. So there it is. I think I'm going to lip right there. Okay. I picked up another rose ink lipstick. <laughs> they are pretty. A good scrub. Well, the, I mean, La Mer just came out with one. <laughs> If you're feeling bougie. Hey, Hannah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, this is not the lipstick shop, but it is from Rose Inc. I don't want to talk about that just yet. Do I have anything else from Gucci before I move on? I don't think so. Let me just make sure. Making, making sure. Oh my gosh, I forgot a fragrance, y'all. <laughs> Doubling back, I forgot a fragrance. Sale half off the Tom Ford skin tint? I don't think I do. I haven't been able to find a shade for me yet. Floral Street Sunflower Pop. This is so lovely. I love how it's packaged like it's a plant. <laughs> like, can we, can we even? This is so cute. Okay. And here she is. Isn't she cute? So, Floral Street. The packaging is very in line with the brand name. I really love it. This is adorbs. Slide that girl right back on in there and keep the packaging because it's cute. <laughs> Look at that. And then here she is. How pretty is she? This is what's on the back that you see through the bottle. Isn't that pretty? She's so cute. I did 
didn't want to spray the box, but I'm going to. So this is Sunflower Pop. Vincent. I wonder if that's a collaborator. Is that a cat box? Yep. Well, look at that sleekness. That was a cat. I thought it was already the um, pump. The underwear? Wait a minute, please. I'll pass you some. Stay. No, stay right there. Stay. Are you doing silly? Oh, this is a makeup highlighter. Didn't just go and I sprayed. You go. Good girl. Okay. Mm. Man, this smells. I've never smelled a, a sunflower as I'm thinking about it. I don't recall the, the way a sunflower smells. Mm. I smell a hint of citrus in here. But as I close my eyes, I can absolutely picture a field full of tall, bright, big sunflowers. Oh yeah, I, I did see that. I love the deals they have. I did end up using Zip for one of my orders. It was like, I think it was like 400 bucks or something. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. That's nice. Ah! And I just read the back, y'all. Check this out. A citrusy, fruity fragrance. <laughs> Good to know my nose is still working, friends. It's um, bright, expressive, vibrant, happy. Well, there you go. <laughs> this is so lovely. I really like this. It screams spring, y'all. This screams spring. Even transitioning into summer. This is absolutely beautiful. Very, very daytime. This is so pretty. So now I'm trying to decide if I want to wear this one or wear sunfruit tomorrow. Because these two are kind of kind of similar just because of that like starfruit citrus aspect. But this one has a little something extra. Mm. All right, all right, all right. All right, get it together a bit. So that was the last fragrance. And then I have the concealers here. So I'll just go ahead and talk about the concealer because I only have three. And so I have the Rose Ink concealer and I had a hard time choosing between 120 and 140. 130 just wasn't going to do it. It was way too warm and I don't really like warm. So I ended up going with, you know, a more conservative concealer 140 because I liked the undertone better. 120 was cool. So it was showing up almost pinky and I didn't really like that. So I ended up going with this one. This was the best possible match. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try this out with the um, serum. I think that will look really pretty. And I, like I mentioned before, I have the Ill No, I don't. She already hung up. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. The True Skin Serum Concealer I picked up in, is that 101? That can't be. That's not right. Is that she big name? Is it? What am I doing? It's right here. Oh, it is. Okay. It's SC 6.5 Cayenne. I don't even remember that. <laughs> I don't even remember how I figured out that this was the one I wanted to do. But I think it's a good concealer color. It looks looks pretty good. It actually looks very similar to the Rose Ink. So I'm liking that. And then I got the LYS. Because you damn right I got the LYS. <laughs> and I got it in DN3. As I mentioned in my recommendations video, I figured since I'm DN6, DN3 would be a perfect concealer shade. And it is. That's beautiful. All of these look about the same, and I'm happy about that. So that means I chose well. 
I'm going to move on to mascara because that's the second. Oh, my God. I forgot another fragrance. You guys, I went fragrance mad. I went fragrance mad. Let me just double check because, my goodness, what was going on with me? <laughs> I want to smell different. Oh, awesome. Aurelia, are you talking about the last fragrance that I, um, this one, you know why I forgot about it? Because I didn't sniff this in the store. This is from a recommendation from Kim Newberry. I told her I didn't really like Twilly and she said to try the original because I had tried like one of the variations of it and she said the original was the best one. So I bought the, blind bought the travel size. So this is just the Twilly de Hermes Eau de Parfum in the travel size. Very pretty, sleek, Hermes packaging. And uh, let's let's give her a little sniffy sniff. Let's see what she's doing. Oh, this smells like something I would like. Yeah. It's giving me a little bit of that bergamot bergamusk, but like elevated. Elevated. Yeah, we're getting we're getting a little bit of powder, we're getting a little bit more floral. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, dare I, you know what? Let me let it mellow out before I say anything. Because <laughs> I was going to say, it's almost like if I mixed Alien Goddess with Bergamusk. That's nice. Okay, now it's moving into another scent. It's actually just kind of settling in with all those things that I smelled previously. It's like settling in, marrying. Oh, this is nice. I mean, come on. It's Kim. She ain't gonna steer me wrong, child. So <laughs> that's why I just trusted her and went with it. So I'm happy with that. Once I run out, I can go ahead and get that cute little twilly one with the actual like fabric. But yeah, that's cute. I like that. All right. That's seriously the last fragrance, you guys. That's the last one in the box. <laughs> that's not the last one I bought. It's just the last one in the box. So I want to make sure that I have, because I can't remember if I got if I brought it today or if I have it coming in the mail, I think I got the YSL, um, the YSL mascara coming in the mail. But did I get more than two of these mascaras, child? I don't know. Let me switch gears a little bit because I actually have a few primers. So I'm going to go over those. Gucci from or did I have to get that in the mail? Oh, I had to get that in the mail, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had the Gucci primer coming in the mail, they didn't have it in store, but I did get the Traceless Soft Matte Primer from Tom Ford. It looks just like the Soft Matte um, foundation, like the same kind of pop up component, except it's completely mahogany shade and not clear. Ah, in the Double Wear Sheer, I am 6C1. And that's Rich Cocoa. Yeah, that's why I thought I didn't like it. I don't smell a lot of ginger in here. I bear, I don't even smell ginger. If it's in there, it's not, it's not hitting my old factory. So next, I got the serum to go with Danessa's new foundation. And I mean, I'm pretty sure this will work just fine because, you know, it's a primer. So we're good on that. My daughter is singing Thriller. And then um, this is not a primer. It just says milk on it. So I'm assuming it's a primer. It's not. Okay. And then I got the airbrush primer, the um, Veil airbrush primer from, or no, the Vanish, not Veil airbrush primer. It looks a lot like maybe just a difference in, I think the metal, but it looks like the veil mineral primer. That's why I keep screwing up the name. I, I don't know. <laughs> Should I do a battle of the primers? <laughs> Can you imagine? I'll put one here and one here and one here, and then one down the center of my face and we'll see what they, what they do in, which would probably end up being this one down the center or maybe the uh, Tom Ford. But anyway, um, that could be a fun video. <laughs> All right, y'all. 
I'm going to, I'm trying to do this in some kind of order that makes sense so that I don't get off track. So I'm going to pull out the brushes that I ended up getting because it's not that many. It's like kind of miscellaneous stuff. I got three packs uh, or three pairs of the hoodie number 23s from um, Huda. I really like this style of lash. I think it's really dope. I'll probably get some more of them because I like to, I want to stock up. They're not expensive in the first place. So getting 20% off of them actually, I believe brings it under $10 because they're 19. Um, so I think 20% off, no, no. That's going to give you about $2 off. Let me shut up. But still, I don't think it's a lot. They're really nice and they last just as long as like a $30 pair of lashes. So really cute. Now, what is this? Oh, okay. I'm like, I got a bunch of milk stuff. Like what is happening right now? Okay, I've got a bunch of lip stuff in here, but I want to wait on the lip stuff. So I'm just going to like group that. And I'm going to count this like two of lip stuff. And what is this? Okay. I got some lash glue since I showed you the Huda, Huda um, lashes. I got the lash glue to test out. I love um, Lily lashes, lash glue. And I picked up I picked up several of the Lily Lashes as well. The Lily Lashes and Sephora. I think I got like three of each. <laughs> I really, really racked up because it is actually pretty gross how long I've had my lashes. I clean them, but still, you know, <laughs> it's time for them to to meet the greener pastures. So yeah. I got some lash glue and a new fan, you guys. I got a new Patrick Top fan. So I'm going to give the broken one to my baby. I'm going to let her destroy it. And I am going to have this one. And she is not going to touch this one. Because I am going to make sure of it. <laughs> I'm not spending $25 on a fan again. And then I picked up the Rose Ink Foundation Brush. Just because I wanted to try, you know, the, the whole system, the whole shebang. And it looked pretty. It looked like a pretty... My lash cleaner comes from Beauty by Chi Chi. She's a YouTuber on here who also has her own small business. So black woman owned business, check her out. I initially purchased her silk masks that are 100% silk. They're really pretty um, and they are adjustable. So I ended up getting like all the available colors and then I picked up the lash clean cleaning kit. It comes with a foam cleanser. It comes with a brush or like a, a sort of like, yeah, like a brushy spoolie kind of thing to clean your lashes. And I'm trying to remember what, I, and it comes in like a travel pouch and all of that. And I think it was like $10 or something. It was, it was very affordable. I'll try to remember um, if I don't end up crashing, <laughs> falling asleep. I'll try to remember to post it after the video. So here's the brush has that perforated um, side that you have to peel. I think I just messed it up. Okay, this actually looks smaller than I was expecting, but it feels nice. You know, it's slanted, uh, densely packed kabuki brush and it feels very soft. It's synthetic bristles as well. This is lovely. I like it. Okay. And I'm not even going to take this out of the box yet. I haven't taken my pencils out either. I'm just tossing everything on the floor because it's going to go right back in this bag. I don't know why I keep forgetting what that is. And since we're still talking about like rose ink and all this stuff, I did get another one of the lipsticks. They did send me a shade in Octoly, Enigmatic, I believe. And that's very pretty. But man, listen, this one called Eloquent. This is pretty, y'all. And these are refillable, see? Refillable with a magnetic closure. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. It really doesn't. The, the component is adorable. Look at this color. 
and these are sheer to semi-opaque. Just like the merit. Oh, this smells good. I didn't smell this the last time. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, look at her. Look at her. She's giving what I want other, like, what I want mauve to give on dark skin. I love this. Oh, y'all. And look at my lips. It's, it's like a, it's like a hybrid because it feels moisturizing and almost a little bit balmy, but it reads matte. Isn't that lovely? I really like this. This is so pretty. This color, like I don't have anything like this. Huh. It caught my eye on my way out and I just said, let me grab this. That's pretty. <laughs> that is super pretty. And it smells really nice. It smells like vanilla and cocoa butter. Mm. This feels nice. This feels really pretty. I hate to wipe it off. I'm almost certain that I can comfortably, comfortably <laughs> let you guys know about the two mascaras I currently have. So I got the Rare Beauty because I've had it in the travel size before and I really like it. And I, I said, as soon as the VAB sale comes up, I'm getting it. So picked this up and I definitely am due for new mascaras. So that's why I kind of grabbed a few goodies. So here she is. Love her. Already know I enjoy her. And then Milk Makeup, I decided to get the travel version of the Kush Mascara because I've heard great things about it. And I just wanted to try it out um, before I committed to the big girl. And there she is. I think this has a really big wand. Yeah. She, she's, she's thickums. And I want that volume on my upper lashes. So I cannot wait to try it. And if I like it, I will buy the full size during the sale. have a lot from Say, so I'm just going to run through Say. I got three items. I picked up two of the Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder, y'all. Oh, it is? Okay, great. Yeah. I picked up the medium and the deep because I want one for my under eye area and one for all over my face. There she is. I love Say products. Absolutely love them. And I, I'm thinking about getting the darkest bronzer just to see what it looks like because I feel like it's cool enough to use as a contour. And I really enjoy the, the uh, one that I have that actually is a contour on I mean, a um, bronzer on me. So, yeah. This is the medium. This is a nice color. I don't want to open it just yet because I have so many powders. Yeah, I want to try to do a full face of Say. I'm trying to remember if I per I feel like I did in one of my um in one of my online orders I think I purchased their tinted like their skin tint. And I purchased it in the 9.5 because I think they only go up to to like 8 in store. I don't know. It's kind of annoying, but <laughs> I'm like if they just put all of them in there like hello. Um yeah. Because I want to try it. And I can't try it. I have to just kind of blindly purchase. But yeah, I also got the, the powder brush. Because why not? <laughs> you know? It's cute. Okay. Yeah. I mean, a basic powder brush. It does what it needs to do. Um, the bristles are slightly crinkled. I think that's to mimic animal hair. Yeah. It's cute. And then I picked up the translucent deep. And I'm sure that many of you have picked, picked this one up as well. So yeah, translucent deep, the medium, and the brush. Got that. And then another item from Milk. Let me just grab whatever's left from Milk, right? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So just two items from Milk. One is the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I've seen this in store a lot. I decided to try it out. And if I really like it, I'm gonna get the big one. Then I picked up the um, Bionic Bronze in Invincible. 
I saw this a lot online as well. And this is the color. It's supposed to be, gosh, I already do a face mark. Yeah, I, I haven't either. And I don't think I will. <laughs> it's something about like high end brushes like that, that I'm like, my Sephora pros are just fine. Thank you very much. Especially when they're synthetic. <laughs> I can't really bring myself to do that. Oh yeah, look at that. That's that's a perfect amount to test. So just gonna let's have a look. Yeah, it's good. I like it. It's very it is totally a gel. I've never had a gel bronzer, but it the the way that the color appears reminds me of um the say balm in that it is very forgiving and allows you to build up the intensity. And you can almost, you, you really would have to try hard to mess this up. The Cali Ray Mascara. I'm, I'm almost positive I ordered it. I think I ordered a full face of Cali Ray, including like glosses. All right, y'all, there's the swatch. For anybody who was curious, I did a heavy swatch of the um, milk makeup bronzer, the gel bronzer. It's, and it feels slightly sticky. I would definitely put this on before powder. I don't think this will play well on top of powder. Unless you've seen somebody do it and it worked, I wouldn't trust it based on the texture. Scooch these out of the way because we are still going strong, I promise you. Okay, lips. We're gonna move into lips because I have quite a few. Um, another recommendation from my sis, Kim. I was talking to her on my way to Sephora, y'all. <laughs> and this is the Tatcha, the Kissy Lip Mask. I wish they had the one, the red one, but it has the applicator. So, I mean, that's all I really wanted anyway was to make sure that I had an applicator. And um, so you get the cute little gold applicator. So you don't have to dig your fingers in here. And then here's the little cutie. I did end up using this already because Nala and I both had very dry lips. And so I said, let me go right on head, okay? And get a little bit of this on the old lip ring. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It smells pretty. It's a little more like gooey. It doesn't feel that way on your lips, but it, you know, the texture, the way it looks, looks gooey, which I find interesting. You know what it was about the one that was like the Lunar New Year one? I think it had like a little nesting spot for the, for the applicator. That was the difference. All right, you guys. I'm really excited about this next one. <laughs> The Dior Addict Shine Lipstick Intense Color. These are the refillable girls. And I picked up two. I picked up Dior Bar and Dior Canage. Number, Dior Bar is number 918 and Dior Canage is number 716. And the reason why I say the numbers is that sometimes, especially like if you order overseas, they won't have the name, they'll just have the number. Sometimes the sites do that. So, and I, I noticed that with um, the new Tatcha Clay mask. So here it is. Yeah, baby. Your LOL toy. It's hanging right on your scooter. Close the door. Hi, Velma. Look at how pretty this is. Are you kidding me? over here giving you classic Dior, like Lady Dior um, type. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is, this is my kind of color right here. Let me do a swatch of this girl. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's me. Exactly, Dina. Is it Dania? Hopefully I said that right. And you know, you're, you know what I like about storing it upside down? Here's the, here's the tea. 
you store it upside down, all the moisture stays on the, like where your lips are going to touch. Keeps your, um, your, your lipstick a little longer. Ooh, okay. Thank you. Because I am looking for, even though I have quite a bit of the unseen sunscreen, I'm looking to try something else, you know, just for the sake of it. Trying something different. So this is Dior Bar for anybody who is curious about the shade. That's Dior Bar. Okay, good. I'm glad you, I said your name right. That's beautiful. And the next one is Dior Canage. And I, you know what I liked about this one? Because there was another one that was slightly like pinker in tone, but they're both nudes. I like this one because it's a touch warmer than the other one. I almost picked, oh, geez. I would know it if I saw it, but I almost picked a different one. Um, that had a little more pink to it. And I, I loved it. I thought it was beautiful, but I like this warmer one better because I feel like it, it vibes with my skin tone a little better. So yeah, those are the two shades I'm starting with. I don't, <laughs> I cannot promise y'all that these will be the last ones because these are gorgeous. These are my kind of textures for like everyday wear. And the packaging is stunning. I can't ask for anything better. I love lip products. It is the dominant product in my entire uh, collection. Yeah, right? That's what happens. I have a lot of Dior uh, lippies. A lot of a lot of them. It's kind of ridiculous. So I went ahead, y'all. Went ahead and bought a Fenty lip. Want to say powder? I haven't um, played with any of these things yet. I actually just picked them up earlier today. Yeah, I can't wait to play with all this stuff too. Like I have ordered a lot. Like my next haul will probably be my online Sephora order, and then followed immediately by the Sephora collection haul because <laughs> I ordered from like every aspect of the sale. Atelier, what are you referring to? This shade that I picked up in the Fenty lipstick is Ball and Babe. I wanted a nude, something that I could wear, like, that I would reach for, you know? And I watched the video on how to put this in. I mean, it's not rocket science, child. <laughs> they have a matte black option as well for you to um, to try. So the component slides right out when it doesn't have, um, doesn't have a, ooh, child. I should have watched where I was going with that. Boom. That was easy. That was easy. Nice. And then there's the color. How pretty is that? Look on Nordstrom. I know you want to get the um, deal, but if you have some some Nordstrom notes, there you go. Mm, okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of a shade. I think this reminds me of a Gucci shade. I don't want to get up. Mommy, where's my other LOLs and my mommy? They're on my treasure box. Bless you. Where's your other LOLs? Look in your toy box, the big one, where your, where your stuffed animals are. Okay. Yeah, close the door. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. I like this. I say that to say I like it. It also reminds me of an Hermes color that I have, but that's cool. I really like the component and it wasn't as some people were saying this was hard to, I don't know, whatever, <laughs> not to me. And so <laughs> moving on, I did pick up two more of those Merit lipsticks. I received two NPR because I am a Merit Muse, but I said, I'm going to need me some more of those. Thank you very much. Mommy, I'm going to cut this in here. Okay. 
Oh, right there. All right. How about saying something? Earlier? No. You want your bunny or something? Ow! Don't come over here. I, I want to. to no. You. I want to give you a kiss. No. Why? You, 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 Nala. Mm -hmm. Nala, sweetheart. Go in the living room. Let me finish. I've been with you all day. Go on. Go be with daddy. Close the door. Okay. <laughs> you know why it's tickling me? <laughs> because my daughter makes me open her pirate booty all the time. The the little they're like the mini snack bags of pirate booty. And she'll go, Mama, pie a boogie. Mommy, can I have some pie a boogie? And I'm like, Nala, just open it. Because she knows how to open like a um a sandwich bag, right? I said, it's the same idea. Pinch the sides, pull it apart. And she's not ready for that yet. <laughs> so it just made me think of that. So I guess that's why I was cracking up. Exactly. You know it. <laughs> you know, you know why I don't have a problem with this? It's just me being bougie. I absolutely love the Guerlain lipsticks that do the same thing and they cost way more. <laughs> so <laughs> that's just me kind of just being used to spending ridiculous amounts of money on things like that. It is not a convenient way to sell lipstick. I agree. I just end up liking it so much that I don't care. <laughs> I'm just like, I want it. Um, and I've done that with my Carolina Herreras as well. The Carolina Herrera lipsticks. Um, a lot of, like that video where I reviewed it kind of put me on the map because Alicia, you know, I made her buy them apparently. But <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it, it is a little ridiculous. You, you got to treat yourself when it comes to that kind of thing. But I will not disagree with you. I just end up doing it anyway. <laughs> so the shades I ended up getting, I hope I didn't. Okay, good, good, good. I thought that I, because I bought one more of these. I pretty much have almost all of them. I bought Fashion. I ordered that one because it wasn't available in store. And then I bought in store the shades 1990 and Slip. All right. So this is slip. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I can't even. This is pretty. Are you kidding? <sighs> Perfect nude. You guys look. <gasps> so excited about this guy. It's so pretty. How gorgeous. That is like a perfect neutral nude. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I love it. And then this one is 1990, which is another brown. Let's see the difference. Oh, wow. Like, if this doesn't, if this, can you even see that? Child, look at that one. I love it. It's just a little bit deeper and a, just a taste warmer. Yes. Watch me wear these together. Look at these components. Again, you see that? Store it upside down. It's the wave, y'all. <laughs> Smile on my face. You guys! I'm going to put that last one on. I'm going to put that 1990 on. Um, thankfully, most of these are recommendations, so I'm literally going to copy and paste my description box from the other from the other video so I don't have to make you guys wait forever. You know, let me get this on. Let me get the kiss suit off. I don't want to make you guys wait forever after the video for um the links. So most of these things I've already talked about and um linked in my oh god are you kidding? Are you kidding? Mmm Okay, now listen. You see, I can just do this all day long. And this is with no liner. I know with a liner, this will look even more gorgeous. That slip. This is slip. This isn't even the darker one.
in beauty. Okay, I think I have I think I have seen that. So this is the lighter of the two. I would definitely wear this one with a liner, especially because of my top lip. My top lip is darker than my bottom lip, so it gives me a bit of a cast on that top lip. So I would wear a liner, a very light one with this. This is beautiful. Mm. Okay. And then And then 1990, baby. Mm -hmm. That's one right there. Yeah. You see the, the noticeable difference in warmth? Mm. Y'all. It's going in my purse. Right now. I'm not even going to put this away. This is going in my purse. <laughs> I feel you. My other account, I have two accounts. One, uh, one is VIB and the other one is Rouge. Last lip product is, is going to be a segue into the next brand that I'm talking about. Give by Gwen Stefani. I... um have been a fan of Gwen Stefani since um, just a girl. I bought the Tragic Kingdom album. It was my first CD that I ever owned. And I wore it out, wore it into the ground. Yeah, tens across the board. I actually have all eight of the lip oils. I love them. I love Falcon and Taupe. Those are my favorite colors for everyday nudes. And then, um, as I'm looking up here, they actually have a clear that has a little bit of shimmer in it. You really can't see the shimmer on your lips, but it's a nice, like if you just want a lip oil with no additional color, it's really nice. The formula is really good. Oh, look at the inside. I love her. The details. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is so cute. Yes, and it's the same on, on the other side too, so. All right, let me feel. Okay, it's a pressure close closure. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's the details for me. And this is the matte version. So she has the same iconic lipstick in a liquid lipstick form, in a glossy form, and in a matte lipstick. Oh, wow. The way that went on was really easy. I thought I was actually going to have to press more. Nice and opaque. That's nice. I like that red. It's a blue red. It's definitely a blue red. Yeah. I like it. What's not to like? It's freaking red lipstick. It's good. Um, and then I grabbed the Cool Tone Eyeshadow Quad. And this one is called um, Danger Zone, which is from her Love Angel Music Baby album that I also wore out. We are in the mess of danger zone. What will happen next? You never know. Now, what you can't see on the on the website is that this is actually like <laughs> inset. So the white give is actually at the bottom. I can't I wish I could show you guys this. And then the gold is raised. Can you can you see that? Can you see what I'm talking about? There's a little dimension there. It's like this is on top of the plastic and then this is underneath the plastic and it's sitting on, it's resting on top of what looks like wood, which is obviously just like a paper bag or something. I don't know. But I love, I love the attention to detail on this packaging. This is really cute. Yeah, yeah. I think this is something she's been curating for a while. And she is very well known for her makeup style. I mean, it, it. I'm surprised it took her so long. Me, you, yours is what it says on the, pardon me, gosh darn light. It says on the mirror. Does that stay on if you peel off the sticker? Let's see. Is it on the sticker or is it on the glass? It is on the mirror. Yep, it's on the mirror. Now, I'm feeling something like refillable, maybe? 
Yeah, I think this is refillable. Yep. This is refillable. Nice. Come on, sustainability. I enjoy. And it's just a simple, cool tone palette. Let's uh, do some swatches. I'm pretty sure my um, my hand is dry enough for that now. These are all matte. Oh, no, I'm lying. The dark one has some sparkle to it. Powdery. Opaque. This should blend well on the lids. I most likely would use the lighter shade as an inner corner highlight. This is a sort of like off black, like a charcoal with some glitter to it. I would still call that a matte. It's, it's like a sequins, if you will. It's a matte with glitter in it. They're all um, sort of a powdery texture. There are, is it two? I think it's three other color stories. I can't remember if it's two or three more color stories, y'all, but this is the one I was drawn to to create just a simple neutral eye, let that red pop, you know? That's what I'm about. I am going to get the liner because I think it will look really cool. Um, I was debating back and forth if I should get a black liner, you know? Because why? Um, <laughs> I have black liner, but I wanna test her formula. Ah, nice. Yeah, that's another brand that I love the lip products from. Absolutely love. And I love how many times they do different customizations of their packaging. I just think that's fun. It makes it stand out in my collection. So live for that. Now, wait a minute. Because I know I bought all three of these. Tom Ford. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Wait. Let me just double check my order, you guys. Because it... No, no. I picked up all three. I'm not losing it. Okay, I'm getting concerned. <laughs> Let me take this out of the way and then I have a little bit of body care. I think I'll just run through that really fast, y'all. Because I'm going to put these in my bathroom. So let's just, you know, get through these before we talk about the Tom Ford because I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to start swinging <laughs> if I don't find that quad. Um, Necessaire. I got the whole system, but the the body wash was not available in any of the locations I went to. So the body oil is coming in the mail. No, no, the body wash is coming in the mail. The body oil from Necessaire, and this is fragrance free. I used the body wash already, like completely used it up. And I tried a sample of the lotion and the serum, which is why I bought both. Here's the serum. And here's the lotion. I love this whole system. And then I saw that they had an oil and I was like, well, why not, baby? Seal it in. <laughs> Let's do this. So it's like skincare for your body. Like I'm living. I'm living. Um, and these are all fragrance free. You can buy this, the body wash fragrance free, but I always get it in eucalyptus because I just like the scent of eucalyptus. And let's see. I don't even want to talk about these until I figure out my life because... <laughs> Where did my other quad go? What's going on? It's not in here. Now that's going to bug me all night. Let's just run through it. I'm going to save the biggest thing for last. I have Smoky Quartz and Tiger Eye right here, but I know I had all three. I know I got all three, you guys. You've seen these before. I'm not going to open them because I'm trying to keep this <laughs> as short as possible. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I, I need a system because I have been so dry. Like my skin is really changing a lot um, with age. And so I'm just taking these out of the box. You guys, I'm not going to open them. You've seen all of them. 
<laughs> I will do a full review. I promise you. I'm going to have to double check my orders to make sure that it's not like sitting in my purse or something, you know, because I came home with it. I'm not worried about that. Um, so those two. And then the last thing is the facial steamer. Hey! Body scrub recommendations. I am using, I believe I'm using Ritual right now. And I like them. They're, they're salt scrubs. So I don't know if you prefer salt or sugar, um, but I like the salt scrub because salt is healing. Um, and so I just rub it all over me and I use my, um, my, like you can use like a loofah glove. You know what I mean? Like the sort of textured ones. I think that is the best way to apply body scrub because one of those things that really sucks about body scrub is you got to turn the shower off. You got to rub yourself down um, and make sure that you're kind of holding on to it. But if you use a glove or two gloves, then it's going to stick with you much longer. So I use the ritual, but honestly, any salt scrub, um, I, I'm an advocate for, especially sea salt. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I this was my big ticket item out of the entire sale. So I had to grab her. And I'm so glad I was able to get it right away because then I can kind of luxuriate this evening and get the skincare popping off. So gosh darn happy. I gotta tell you, I'm really happy with my first haul, you guys. And I appreciate you hanging out with me on this live. Um, I was getting to catch up and chat like we used to do. It's been really great. Um, I am going to find that other quad. <laughs> I can't. I just, you know, it's distracting me that I can't find it. But I know it's here because I saw it when I took it out of the all the other bags and put everything in the big bag. So I know it's here. Anywho, that is going to do it for this live. I thank you so much for hanging out with me for an hour and a half, y'all. You're the real MVP. Y'all are, y'all are amazing. I'm going to, like I said, copy and paste everything that is in the recommendations into this description box and then figure out what's missing and add that. Okay. Uh, before I go to bed, ah, uh, over already, <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you for the laughs. Thank you for just, you know, being about makeup because nobody else in my house is. <laughs> so my excitement, I had to like contain myself until I got home. Um, but now I am going to tidy up because I have a ton of open boxes. So I'm about to go to the recycle bin and find homes for these things. And then um, if I have some energy left, I will go ahead and dye my hair. So the next time you see me, I am going to be fully blonde again. Thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. And um, I hope you have a good rest and enjoy your weekend. I will be posting again, probably Tuesday, if my Sephora order comes in, you know, a timely manner, but I will be recording all weekend. So <laughs> lots of, um, lots of content to come. Make sure that you're subscribed, not subscribed. I'm sorry. Make sure you follow my, um, IG. I'm going to be posting, um, some stuff that I got from like Octoly and stuff on there in the coming days. And of course some flat lays, because how could I not all this product child? Love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye. Good night.